it's Mark with Sysman Geek Squad, and today I want to show you the wonders of Nutex NDI audio video over IP solution. Essentially, it will allow you to offload streaming performance requirements from your media production computer. Normally, the production computer would be rendering cameras, video sources, and effects. This can be very processor and video card intensive and take away from what you're actually trying to stream in real time. With Newtek NDI, it will transfer streaming content over the network to another computer that will handle streaming and or recording of the live video content. So if you are gaming, producing music with a lot of virtual instruments, or simply have a lot of shots to deal with, this will help make your main computer more reactive as you are streaming with all that content. So let's begin. First, we want to navigate to the GitHub page of Newtek NDI's OBS plugin. There you can find the main project page of the OBS NDI plugin that will integrate with the software that I currently have on screen. You will want to go to the releases link where it will give you the NDI plugin for both Windows, Mac, OS, and Linux. For Windows, they recommend you use the installer. The installer will download both the newest version of NDI plugin and the Newtek NDI runtime that is a prerequisite software for the Newtek NDI product line. And no worries. At 32 megabytes, this product won't take you long to download. After the install is complete, the runtime will require a restart of your computer. Now would be a good time to redo the previous steps on your secondary streaming computer. After your computer reboots, you will see in the open broadcast software under the tools menu that NDI output settings has appeared. This is where you make your stream fee transmitter identification name. In my case, I used Merc-PC-OBS. Once you click OK, the NDI feed is enabled. Over on your secondary computer, you'll want to have Open Broadcast Software opened if you haven't opened it already. And now we add the Merc-PC-OBS NDI source feed. That's it. We're now receiving the transmitted source feed from Mark PC. You can now transform, pan, and crop your NDI source feed as you see necessary.